Celestia is rumored to have an upcoming airdrop, and if it's anything like the Jito token, it'll be worth thousands of dollars. Because the Celestia network is expanding, early stakers will be rewarded with a potential airdrop. We are seeing Celestia climb up the ranks in terms of total market cap, and if it's anything like these other Cosmos tokens, there will be a giant airdrop as well. So today I want to cover how to stake the TIA token and how to make yourself eligible for a potential airdrop. There's a ton of speculation on X on when the airdrop will happen, so you definitely want to get in early. We have a lot to cover. Let's get started. So Celestia is part of the Cosmos hub and it is interoperable with the many other Cosmos blockchains. And it does tout itself as a blockchain as a service that can scale with the increasing number of users. So first thing is first, in order to stake the TIA token, you will need the official Cosmos wallet, which is the Kepler wallet. So at Kepler.app, you would install this on your browser and the wallet would live up here on your top right dashboard. On here, you find the many various Cosmos blockchains under the Atom ecosystem, including Atom, Kava, Crow, Injective, Osmo, and of course, Celestia. So once you have Kepler installed, you're gonna wanna send some Atom token from Coinbase into your Kepler wallet. So make sure you copy the correct Atom address, which is here labeled as Atom Cosmos Hub, and the wallet address would be found here under the square icon. So once you deposit some Atom into the Kepler wallet, you're gonna wanna swap the Atom for some TIA token. So I do recommend the Rocket X exchange. This is a cross chain DEX that allows you to trade dozens of different coins across many multiple blockchains. So you would launch the app and on here you would click on connect. Make sure you connect your Kepler wallet. Cool, so I do have some Atom available in my Kepler wallet and I wanna swap that for the TIA token. So I'm gonna go ahead and select max. So this is my source chain and that will be sent to the Celestia network as a TIA token. And if you wanna find the TIA specifically, you can click on IBC here and you can search for Celestia. Cool, and below that, it's going to want to ask for the specific Celestia network address. So let's navigate back to our Kepler wallet and scroll lower and let's find the Celestia network. There we go. And under the square icon here, we'll copy the TIA wallet address and paste it in here. And you'll know it's correct because the first word on the wallet address will say Celestia. Click save, make sure this all looks correct and hit cross chain swap. And for transaction fee, I like to pick a low gas fee. So I'm gonna hit low, close and approve. And once you approve that, the transaction will be submitted and finally begin to process. So the estimated time would be five minutes. And finally, you'll see this as successful and close this window. So if you navigate back to your Kepler wallet and you find your Celestia network, click within here, you'll see that you'll have your new TIA balance available. So now in order to stake this, we would click on the Kepler dashboard here. And on this pop-up, you can select the chain you wanna stake. We have Celestia here. You can also search for it down here. And currently for staking Celestia, that would net you 16.42 APR. Do have some TIA already staking. I'd like to add more to my pre-existing stake. And under this dashboard, you can also access the staking section under this tab here or here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Celestia. So when it comes to picking a validator, you wanna avoid the top 10, even the top 20 validators. They usually have the highest commission and you want to keep the network decentralized. You wanna maintain yourself eligible for the potential airdrop. So a medium size to small size validator is usually fine. So you can sort by voting power and again, let's avoid the top 10 and we scroll lower. So here we have Stake Cito. He charges a 5% commission rate. That's the minimum. So we're gonna choose him. My current stake is 2.1. I'm going to stake the rest of my tokens. Click stake, scroll lower and amount to stake. I'm gonna hit max. So I always wanna leave some TIA token behind for gas. So we're just gonna stake 7.1, click on stake, and again, approve this transaction. And that was successful. And if you ever wanted to find your staking balance under the staking tab, scroll lower and you would find your pre-existing stake and you can also claim your staking rewards here. And one more thing I would recommend you do to make yourself eligible for the upcoming airdrop is participate in governance. So you would click on this governance tab here and you would vote on any upcoming proposals. At the time of filming, there are no open proposals, but always check this governance tab to see where and how you can vote on upcoming governance proposals for the blockchain. The developers definitely want you to be an active participant in the blockchain, so voting on potential changes and upgrades to the network is very important. I do recommend you also stake a good amount of TIA tokens. The higher the amount, the higher your potential airdrop will be. Usually there's a minimum amount required.
to be eligible for the airdrop. So there you have it, a complete guide on how to stake the Tia token. There's a ton of apps being built on top of the Celestia token and all of these are rumored to be potential airdrops for Celestia stakers. I'm super bullish on everything Celestia is working on and everything coming down the pipeline. And don't forget to keep up to date with everything Celestia related on their official X account at Celestia Org. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave a question in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.